a reenactment of the first ever aeromedical evacuation. It happened 100 years ago, during the First World War, in the Sinai Desert. Of course, the Royal Air Force hadn't been formed by then, but the Royal Flying Corps was already paving the way. That first medical evacuation took place in an aircraft like this, the BE-2. A soldier from the Imperial Camel Corps had his ankle shattered by a bullet, and to get him back to medical care would have taken two days by train or by camel. Instead, his medical officer persuaded the pilot to take him in the aircraft, and the flight lasted 45 minutes. Since then, carrying injured personnel by air has saved countless lives, and personnel from the Royal Air Force have provided medical care in every major conflict. There have been advances now that could have never have been thought of a century ago. Certainly from my first incarnation of helicopters, it was a doctor and a medic on the back of a helicopter it's cobbled together, whereas now it's gone through a whole emergency department and uh, ambulance, as, is, as I mentioned before. And what does that change provide for the, for the patients? It makes it life, really. Yeah. So, uh, better uh, care, better chance of survival. When you hear about how they used to do things, I mean, how, what does it make you think? Oh, like scared. Like when they put patients onto a side of a plane and strap them down, I just, yeah, it's obviously something we'd like never do anymore. But yeah, it's amazing that they, they have that capability and they could get people back. But yeah, we're just lucky today, I guess, that, you know, we're a bit more advanced. Today, His Royal Highness the Duke of Gloucester has been marking that anniversary with the opening of a new museum at the Stone Maris Aerodrome. It will tell the story of the Royal Flying Corps and later the RAF, who worked at Europe's largest surviving First World War aerodrome, used first in 1916. From here, pilots would launch flights to protect the capital from German Zeppelins and Gotha bombers. Because navigation was so rudimentary in those days, the Germans at night, remember they're attacking at night time, flew up the Thames. That was the only way they knew they would find London. So airfields like Stowe Maris uh, were positioned to intercept them. We here had uh, B-2 uh, night fighter aircraft, sop with camels later, and pilots would take off, intercept these aircraft, and yes, try and shoot them down before they dropped their bombs on London. Aeromedical evacuation has come a long way in the last century, from that first flight in the Sinai carrying one patient to today's Hercules capable of carrying more than 80. But innovations in care in the air have saved many lives. Ali Gibson, Forces News, Chelmsford.